Welcome to another CigarAdvisor.com Cigar Review. I'm Gary Korb. I'm joined by our team here, Jonathan DeTore, John Pulo, and the inimitable Tommy Z-Man. What does that mean? It means something. It means that you were without imitation. You were a true original. Inimitable. And another true original we have here is the La Gloria Cubana Serie RF. Now, you may remember the La Gloria Serie R. It is a uh, bold, full-bodied cigar, and the RF, and someone's going to explain what the F is in a minute, Whoa. Um, is actually a very well-blended cigar. It, it's right in the line in terms of its flavor, its pre flavor profile. It starts off with a real kick. It's got a nice front-loaded flavor. Let's go to Jonathan. How do you uh, like it so far? I see you're pretty far along. Right up, right up front, it's a, it's a real peppery cigar, like you said. I mean, it really smacks you in the face, but um, I, I don't like, I don't want it to scare people because there's a lot of cigars out there that have a lot of pepper up front. So I like to call them eye openers. They're, uh, they're the cigars that you light up and it's, it's an attention grabber. It just kind of opens up your eyes like, all right, I'm smoking a cigar. Siri RF from La Gloria Cubana is unabashedly full body. That front loading you're tasting is, is Lajero because the F stands for Fibonacci. And Fibonacci, uh, there's, the, there's a whole series about the Fibonacci numbers and the Fibonacci curve, and it's, it has to do with perfection in art and nature, and they're, they're relative to, this is something serious math here, phi, which is the perfect number, is 1.618, and there's a whole lot of Greek mathematics that go along with it. I mean, we're talking centuries here. It's the reason why the masters painted like they did and why hurricanes turn like they do and why the cigar tastes like it does and as peppery as this is Michael Giannini who blended the cigar for Team La Gloria had said he wanted the perfect ratio of Lajero mm -hmm. in contrast to the amount of Dominican and the amount of Nicaraguan mm -hmm. and the amount of Connecticut Havana binder etc cetera, etc cetera. so what you have is if that is the perfect proportion and that is a lot of pepper. Yeah. So would you would call yeah. him Michael Genius Anini? <laughs> because <laughs> the way this is constructed is pretty brilliant. Great construction. I mean, just as just as a whole, I mean, it's got that kind of uh, a little bit of a rustic look borrowed over from the Serie R. But the taste, I mean, this is one of those where, you know, we were talking about uh, sushi before. Mm -hmm. And this is like, this is take your fish, you know, and, and goop it up with the wasabi and it just hits you with so much pepper, but it just it hurts you so good. Yeah. By the time it's done, it's taking your breath away when you retrohale it. Absolutely. You know, you talk about wasabi. I like to smear it on me. My wife <laughs> likes that. Oh, she gets that. <laughs> so she, she, yeah. she likes when I'm front loaded. Uh, like I said, Michael Giannini, you, you have made a cigar that is just, it's like brilliant. It's like mm. kind of like a work of art, this and thing. It's, how, how do they do that, Tommy? Well, we'll talk about the front loading. Though. From what I've been told by the master, Mr. Jose Blanco, who's a good friend of ours, um, you know, he talked about, especially when they say Lajero is front loaded, the leaf, they take the leaves and they put the points of the leaf all in the same direction. So that all concentrates right in the front of the cigar. So when you've got the Lajero there, that's what that, you know, super spicy, because that's a thick leaf, it's a dark leaf, it's a spicy leaf, and it just goes bang. Right. But then, like I said, don't be afraid because this thing, all of a sudden, a third down, right? And it's, I was just going to say, it's right about here. Yeah. You're getting to about that same point. Where it's getting smoother. It's, it's, it's smoothing out. Yeah. And what you're left with is a sweet, woody, kind of creamy cigar. This, this is a really oily cigar. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you get a ton of rich flavors that come out. And then right towards the final third, when you're going back into it, the pepper, like, reappears, which is kind of nice because you have the pepper up front, you have the subtle, rich flavors in the middle, and then it all meshes together in, in, at the end. And I feel like that's, a, that's one hell of a complex cigar that you got there. So the nose, I think that's important. We all kind of said different things. You know how it's subjective and you taste different stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Gary, you had said about hickory and wood. Yeah. Definitely get that. But I, I got a lot of like black licorice type of like, almost like a Zambuca or a Nice flavor right off the bat, but then that went away and turned into more like the wood. There's a sweetness in there. I, I, I understand where you're coming from with the licorice. It's just, I, I think you're on the right track. Maybe it's just my taste buds that, that aren't picking up on black licorice, but there is a, a slight sweetness in there that I can certainly, I can certainly see. Well, you don't have crusty old man taste buds yet. So, right, so you're pretty glad yeah. about that. 
All right, so uh, let's talk about the taste. Uh, I'm at that point where the peppery elements have sort of calmed down and it's nice and sweet. I'm getting a sweet tobacco flavor with a lot of wood and earthiness, which is very common in uh, Nicaraguan tobacco. Um, also, I'm going to try to retrohale this thing right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wow, you know, it's, it's not as spicy as it was more up front. Um, it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, you hear it? You hear it? It's spicy! As it was up front! That's so good. I'll do it again. Wow. Yeah, it's fine. How about you? You know what? This is a heavy cigar for a heavy man. Not a fat joke? It was definitely a fat joke. Fat gar, fat taste, fat joke. Bold, balanced, extraordinary. No, that wasn't a fat joke, man. I'm just saying, it's a bold cigar. I'll let it slide, this time. Look, I'm not one to tell you the flavors you're gonna find in a cigar, but I found meaty, tangy, coffee, bold. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring this to my wife's Pilates class and piss everybody off. I find the draw is excellent. It's burning very well. The flavor is very full. You're the guy that loves a cigar that has different flavors and complexity and changes as it goes through. This is what you got right here, man. And um, in case you forget it, uh, just think of the F, you know, RF. F stands for famous. There it is. Oh, there it is. Because it's only available at Famous, right? What the F, Gary? What the F? What, what the, the F? F? There's more to be had on this cigar at Famous-Smoke.com. Famous-Smoke.com slash what's dash the dash F. And with a cigar that's tasty, it makes it say, what the F? Wow. Brilliant.